Terrell Thomas, These Urban Times. Uh, first, first and foremost, I want to thank you, lady and gentlemen, for sitting down with me today. I greatly appreciate it. I've had an opportunity to watch the film. Um, I've also, I, I know, I, I thought I knew the story. I thought I knew some details and things, so it was very powerful. Um, I want to ask a broad question uh, to begin. Was it difficult uh, to actually portray these characters, uh, especially, you know, uh, the climate of 2020 and, and the things that we went through in, in that year and just overall, it was such a powerful story. Was it hard to capture those characters and capture those roles? Yeah, I think anytime, first of all, you're you're portraying someone that's a real person and uh, that is that is tough because then you you have you you owe something and you can't just create. You have to study. Um, but I also think being that we're uh, portraying the Black Panthers and these people who put their lives on the line for what we are still calling for and echoing for today, then there's an even bigger weight. And so I feel like um, the pressure was there, but honestly, everyone on the cast, man, is just a game. And so I think when you got everyone there and they know the sacrifice that they're making and they're there to work and bring their A game every day, it makes you bring your A game and then you kind of forget about the pressure and you, you just let all the work and study that you've done already, you just let that ooze up out of you. Mm. 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 Dom, Dom um, and yeah. Dara, how would you know that? Absolutely, absolutely to all of that. I think it's so easy to feel intimidated by the greatness of this story and to think that, whoa, like we have to step into that. Um, it's definitely like an intimidating task. But I think that beyond that or deeper than that, it's a blessing really. Like it's the greatest honor. It was speaking to my personal experience, it was the greatest education I could have asked for in so many different ways. So I think that it, it really was uh, a humbling and uh, honor, you know, to be able to to step into the shoes of the people who really did that. You mm -hmm. know, they really did that work. They really they really pushed us forward to where we are now. So to think that, whoa, okay, all right, I'm I'm gonna work to amplify that. It's a huge blessing. You know, and I don't think it's one that any of us took lightly. It's, it's the honor um, of a lifetime to be to be given the opportunity to portray uh, this party um, and these incredible, incredible human beings. Um, and so, like 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 Dom said, like you don't take it lightly. You know, there is a responsibility that comes with this, um, and there's an obligation to give it everything you have. So if you pour, you do all the research, you know, you you work tirelessly um, on on trying to to perfect little the little nuances and as much as you can, um, and then like like Algy said, you just you just flow with it, you know. You hear the spirits of the ancestors, you know, and you just you just hope that you're walking with such love and and and, and, and the grace uh, and empathy that they that they walked with every day, um, and just understanding that you know the obligation. You know, with the great responsibility comes great power, and 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 so, what are you going to do with that? You know, and um, we were blessed to have, you know, an, an incredibly an incredible visionary as our director and Shaka King, and just the cast. You know, you start with Daniel. Um, I mean, you you better bring you better bring it. You know, because I'm <laughs> yeah. in the last fifteen years. You know, and so and then so it's it just it's a trickle down effect. Um, so there was no way we could we could um, you know try to to not take this as serious as we all took it and continue to take it um, to this day. Uh, and then I also wanted to ask the three of you: Did you realize the impact that Fred Hampton had before actually filming the movie? Of course, like you know, I, I don't know exactly your education backgrounds or how Black history was taught in your school or in your lives. Um, but we kind of we would get the broad image of Fred Hampton and, and everything he meant. Uh, but did 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 it, did it change your opinion of him and of the Black Panther Party? Oh man, did it definitely. Uh, I think I just knew about Fred Hampton, Chairman Fred Hampton, because of just being black. Because it wasn't it wasn't anything that we could learn in school about it. And so it was just the the echoing of the Black Panther Party and hearing these certain names. Fred Hampton, uh, Eldridge Cleaver, Larry Hoover, you know what I'm saying? Hearing these certain names, these people, uh, I'm sorry, Huey Newton, I'm tripping. Uh, but hearing these certain names of these people 
Um, but when we when I signed on to the film, the world of information that you get is just it's nuts, man. And you really do a deep dive and you understand everything from the Rainbow Coalition. I think we, we, we keep saying it as a collective, but it's just the way that Fred lived instead of the way that he died. We hear about the way that he died, but the film and the education that we receive takes you into the way that he lived. And I think that was the biggest, that was the biggest uh, piece of information that I, that I thought I could walk away with. Mm -hmm. That's well said. Sure, sure. I mean, I think that that's probably one of the main things that Shaka said that, that strikes me, you know, is that we, there's so little out there on how he lived, you know, and I, I remember in trying to prepare, you try to, you know, read as much, watch as much, and there would be so few videos of him just existing, you know, just walking in his light. Um, and so I definitely think that it took this project for me to really understand, you know, it was, and it was necessary to understand, to, to, to really be as authentic as possible in portraying a person that was willing to give up their lives uh, in honor or, you know, in protection or in service um, of him and his mission. Um, so this was, this was absolutely like a, a, a necessary education. And I hope it can be that for, for people watching as well. Very well said. I, I thank you. I thank the three of you so much for your time today. Uh, once again, I appreciate the roles in which you played. I think it's a phenomenal film. I'll definitely be telling everyone I know to check it out, watch it with their children and, 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 and learn because uh, it was very powerful. And like I said, I learned things that I didn't know. So thank you very much. And I uh, continue thank success you. in your careers. Thrill. Appreciate you, Ken. Uh, I've been a crazy weekend, Ken.